friends, it's me. Collapse will be here to save you from the icy waters of the North Atlantic. That's right, we're here playing Real Politics, a great new game that's out two years ago. Uh, they had a new DLC, New Power, so playing Real Politics, New Power, it's a great game. I've been playing it. I've actually been shocked that uh, nobody else has been playing it. It seems like it's a spot on the YouTube market that's open for business as it were so uh, I'm just here to claim it first so don't post any videos in competition but anyway uh, we're here on the uh, main menu and you can see all the great options we're just gonna go straight into a new game as we can see uh, this guy rocking a great new beard here it's a uh, pretty good uh, stuff but here we are in the world map and it's it's just a great map I mean we got the world Africa America uh, we got all of it here's a little a uh, uh, little exploit or Easter egg as it were if you go down and then throw the map up you can kinda see a uh, space is up there so that's a part of the game that might come into play later we can't quite access it yet but anyway uh, you can select a lot of different countries we got uh, Canada US, Mexico, uh, it's a pretty good uh, ship, you're uh, doing a pretty dangerous path there, this path right here has been known to be a bit dangerous, <laughs> I, sh I should know, anyway, uh, we're gonna go into my uh, home nation, that's right, the United Kingdom, and the problem that I see with the United Kingdom is that there's, you know, another country over here that's not part of the United Kingdom that used to be part of the United Kingdom so I'm gonna just go ahead and fix that in this let's play today but before we dive into that I'd like to show off the other scenarios that this game has to offer as the dawn of tomorrow uh, we can see that this is after a, a hypothetical World War 3 can read here World War 3 has come and gone for years the earth burned with nuclear fire uh, etc. I'm sure you can uh, read all of these if you pause the game. So uh, we can see there's countries like Europa, and uh, you know I'm I'm just not going to look at that. That's just terrible right there. Three, four, four different nations in the British Isles. That's outrageous. And uh, uh, we're just going to stay away from that part of the world right there. And then we can go to the uh, New World Order, which is basically just well, you'll see in a second. It's like every state independent so you don't even have to mod that so pretty useful in this game I'd say we're gonna go back to the world is not enough and we're going to uh, uh, hop right into the UK as you can see it's a democracy which is would be a problem but we can get around that uh, has a five-star economy so very good economy and a three-star military which obviously isn't ideal but it'll be it'll be uh, enough to take on these uh, these fellows right here so we'll just go ahead and start the game that guy's a great cigar uh, here we are in the game and the first thing you'll want to do is pause the game it is very key you pause the game this game can really get going quick if you if you don't keep track of time so as with all games you'll want to look after these blinky things over here first as we see the projects and that brings us into this uh, tech tree. It's it's beautiful. You can uh, zoom in and out like this, so you can get the close-in view and the far-away view. I think that's pretty cool and useful. Uh, anyway, the first text I like to do usually are the uh, zoom in, so you can see the internal politics advancement one. I like to just start that off. Uh, to go to three right here. That'll take a year to finish, and also go to the economy modernization one I like to get that a 10% or 0.1% GDP growth uh, addition that's a that's a pretty big addition right there so we'll just start off on that tree so that's our two project slots filled for now uh, we'll need to uh, look at our internal politics uh, the stock market stock market can get you a lot of money uh, if you've ever heard of a stock market we, we have one uh, the FTSE so pretty relevant there so we've run out of action points to put in more so that's a problem obviously but uh, we'll get into that later so 
we can just look through our little tabs here see where democracy and that's the stuff that controls that I like that high militarism level um, population growth looks pretty good human development index looks pretty good we're not in a block or a warmonger yet finances that's a pretty <clears throat> a pretty big debt right there but nothing that some um, financial machinations can't fix here there's some great opportunities in the South Sea you know so we I'm sure we can fix that um, natural resources we got a lot of those military this is what we're interested in we have a decent military we'll go ahead and get some more armor in uh, some anticipation of our upcoming war with Ireland don't tell them that yet uh, this is just like a summary tab yeah summary tab uh, we'll, we'll look at Ireland actually we need to see what kind of military they have <laughs> barely any. This is going to be a piece of cake. We need to start the game though because in order to uh, get Ireland we need to have a couple of things go our way. We need to get the core on the province which needs action points which we don't have so we just need time to go forward a little bit there. Mass shrieks causing some Uprising, uh, yeah, that's a, that's still a thing in 2020, apparently. <laughs> we'll just not look over there. Uh, we have enough action point. I got some achievement there. I don't care though. We need a couple more action points. <whistles> Alright, we can now click that and let's gain a core on island. Honestly, we should already have that considering we used to own it, but you know, whatever. Okay, we just gotta wait for that to finish up. Uh, we can see that there, 275 days. Uh, those will finish up slightly before that. Uh, we got an unused stock slot. We can just add a country in Canada. Yeah, we better start reintegrating the Commonwealth if we want to return to our glory days indeed <clears throat> sanctions against authoritarianism United Nations uh, it's gonna succeed whether or not I do anything so I'll just I'll just sign on to that um, yeah China Russia not happy about that anyway but uh, just kind of waiting here but, uh, I might cut this out because we're just kind of waiting for 130 days Uh, demilitarization that doesn't apply to us that, that'll be fine just just fine all right we got 14 days left uh, we'll get some more projects going then here we are yep we got some good stuff going on there let's just keep going down that economic modernization yep and go to internal politics and we'll keep going down that that'll take uh, about two years to finish up there but that's fine we'll be busy with a war soon at least I hope so um, <clears throat> okay that did not go as planned okay that's uh, not not good uh, somebody sabotaged a nuclear arsenal. Uh, we can't even do that for another 200 days. Uh, 
That's that's bad. You have to wait. So, I found this game to be really fun and engaging on like a personal level. Uh, if you can actually you can kind of zoom in and see the Rockies and some trees there. Do I have the graphics settings all the way up? I'm going to have to check that. There's quite a couple graphical settings. You can turn on and off trees there. The shadows, yeah, that's pretty important. The cities, we don't want a Bismarck right there to disappear on us now, do we? And I'm not quite sure what environment does. Anyway, um, yeah, lots of graphical uh, options for us here today. All right, uh, conservatives have proposed a coalition for the upcoming elections. Their structures and experience may help us greatly, but everything has a price. Uh, yeah, sure. We want authoritarianism, after all. Democracy's a bit annoying. Alright, we got some good stuff going here. Uh, we're on our way to becoming authoritarianism. I was hoping we wouldn't need that, but the way this game is going, I might uh, have to have that. Just kind of waiting. And waiting, score ranking. That's good. We got. Pretty good stuff going on there. In a little bit, we can try this again. But if it doesn't work this time, I'm just gonna re record because, you know, that's what really. You can't waste my time. My time's pretty valuable, you know. I won't, I'm not gonna sit around here doing. just waiting for some bars to fill up all the time, you know. I got other stuff to be doing, right? <clears throat> we can support a, a riot in Russia. Huh. Huh. How's the riot doing, boys? Rebels from Kazan. Kazan? Kazan? Ka... Well, whatever it is, they're losing and... Losing pretty bad, it looks like. War's just started. Russia's already got 15% war score, so... Yeah. Look at some of these tasks. We pay debts. Come back. Yeah, nothing. Nothing very interesting going on there. So, uh, uh oh, Israel and Palestine are at war. Uh, I've seen this war a couple of times in my previous uh, playthroughs of this game. Israel usually wins, but uh, I'm not quite sure exactly. Looks like Palestine actually declared this war, huh? Usually it's the other way around. So, yep, we're just kind of waiting around. Probably cut here too. Yeah, probably will. Let's just waiting. I promise this game gets really, really speedy once you, once you like. Uh, once these buys finish up. So, uh, yeah. Um, hmm. Just another month left. Hopefully it works this time. If it does, then we can go ahead and declare war on them. I haven't joined any block, which is good. If they, if they have joined a block, Complete success. That's right. That's that's right. We got James Bond going in there and fabricating those claims. Uh, we're gonna need some lower relations. This uh, shouldn't take very long. If you want to vote lower relations with the country, I hear all you have to do is just kind of kind of insult them. Uh, 
look at that. Success. We have successfully lowered our relations. That's just that's just great. So we can just go straight into the war. Yeah, we can. Uh, yep. Here we go. Can assign operations. So how war works? We need to assign the operations. Uh, let's look at the army, which is basically nothing. So but just to be sure, we'll go ahead and uh, take out the armor first. You know, they have one tank, but it'd be better if they had no tank. Uh, and, uh, so that worked pretty well. I'm just going to do a pursuit here. i just kind of show them what we got. Pursue them. Pursue them, I guess, through Ireland. Pursuit, you know. We're winning this pretty good. Yep. Yeah. Um, on the same principle, we're going to... Uh, where is it? Uh, I do a secure front. It's a pretty good stuff. Oh, we got some projects implemented. Oh, we already won that, All right? So we're just gonna go straight into unorganized fast offensive. That will win us the war immediately. Uh, yep. All right, we won. Woohoo! Ireland is ours. We just need to demand that we acquire Ireland, confirm, send offer. They accepted it, though they can't really refuse it because I just wrecked them. I yeeted them all the way back to, um, yeah. So, anyway, this has been a great Let's Play. I'd like you all to uh, like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Collapsible B. We might uh, reform the British Empire, you know, if we uh, get enough support for this video. So, you know, like, share, subscribe, share with uh, all your friends and stuff. Uh, I would say support me on Patreon, but I don't have a Patreon, uh, so you can just mail money to me. So, yes, thank you, uh, and I will see all of you next time. Bye!